Every place has a tale to tell, and the narrative of Quirino province is etched in its breathtakingly rugged landscape. Quirino's verdant mountains serve as a vital watershed, giving birth to a captivating web of streams and waterfalls, and ultimately feeding the length and breadth of the mighty Cagayan River. As unique as Carino's terrain is its ecosystem which supports a thriving biodiversity. Carino was once the forest region of the province of Nueva Vizcaya. And was originally inhabited by tribal groups. It is considered as the youngest province in Cagayan Valley region, which consists of six municipalities, namely Cabarogis, Difun, Saguday, Aglipay, Madela and Nagtipunan. Named in the honor of President Elpidio R. Quirino. Quirino Province is home to the largest tract of old-growth tropical rainforests in the country. As such, the province offers travelers a blissful opportunity for so-called forest bathing as they pursue holistic wellness goals. Endowed with the beauty of nature, Quirino is even more blessed by the bounty of its land. Agriculture is the main economic activity of the province. Recently, vegetable farming has gained steam and burgeoning coffee plantations have led to an emerging coffee culture. Quirino's story is echoed in its own brand of culture and arts and retold in the day-to-day -day lives of Quirinians. The Ilongot and the Dumagat people are the original inhabitants of the region. The Ifugaos and the Igorots later established communities in the highlands. Nowhere is this cultural diversity and idiosyncrasy more palpable than in Quirino's cuisine. Marami akong favorite local dish. Um, andyan ang dinakdakan, andyan ang diningding, pinakbet, tinolang native naman ako. Using locally available ingredients, Quirino's gastronomic landscape is a delectable mix of dishes ranging from the familiar to the exotic, each reflecting its Ilocano, Kapambangan, Bicolano, or even tribal influences. When you're here in Kino, I hope you get to try our ginger tea, our distinct mountain blend coffee, at iba't iba pa pong produkto ng aming probinsya. Meanwhile, a treasure trove of delicacies await visitors who wish to take home and share a taste of Kirino. And aromatic fruit wines are just some of the many choices. Weaves, wood carvings, and beadworks, meticulously handmade creations by the local artisans, are popular souvenirs as well. Among Quirino's inspired creations, 
There is one which stands out due to its distinct allure, the fossilized flowers. Ang fossilized flowers po ng Quirino ay isang export quality product na ito po ay pinagmamalaki at uh, isang hanap buhay na lumago na at ine-export na po ng ating bansa sa iba't ibang parte ng Europa at iba ibang parte ng mundo. Quirino is also known as the Adventure Haven of the North and it is easy to see what. The adventure begins in the Quirino Water Sports Complex, a world-class wakeboarding park whose water is fed by natural springs. The annual Quirino Motorismo is an action-packed motorsport festival, the only one of its kind in the Philippines. With the outdoors right in its own backyard, the province of Quirino lends itself as a natural playground for adventure seekers. Cascading waterfalls which drain into natural pools, towering walls of rock-framing placid streams, and mysterious caverns which lead deep into the belly of the mountains all serve as gateways to exhilarating adventures. Well, if you want to see something new, something you've never seen before, something uh, that you can only see in uh, the best picture books and coffee table books in the world, and you want to see it for yourself, pumunta po kayo ng Quirino province. Quirino believes that its greatest resource is its people, Quirinians who, fueled by ingenuity, guided by the principles of environmental stewardship, and united by their loyalty to the province, continue to bring change and progress to Quirino. Quirino is a up-and-coming province over a span of less than two decades or three decades. It's now a third-class province with so much potential, promising investments, culture of transparency, and a good business climate for investors. This year, Quirino marks its 50th founding anniversary with a host of activities and special projects. Among them, Quirino's very own coffee table book. Photographs, anecdotes, recollections of a region's colorful past, snapshots of a young province's momentous present, anchoring Quirino to a solid foundation as it dreams of far greater things for its beloved people. With this coffee table book, we hope to capture the identity of our beloved Quirino province on its 50th year. Our culture, our tradition, our people, our cuisine, our arts, our character as a province. This coffee table book will hopefully become a part of our history, documenting Quirino province at its best on its golden year. Kirino 
7 islands in the Philippines with 81 provinces yet one stands out Where nature, culture, and adventure abound. Here, you can experience everything from eco tourism to agri tourism to nature tourism to food tourism and to culture tourism. Just name it. We have it. Start your adventure with a trek in our pristine forest where your spirit and nature become one. Run freely with the wind and take a dip in Pirino's majestic waterfalls. Bathe in the forest and just enjoy the view. Feel the fresh water running through your hair. Enjoy every moment as you experience true nature. From the beaming light of the sun, which gives life to the field, To the grain, which serves as food for everyone. Come and take a bite of Kirino's cuisine and taste the culture of Kirino. Get enough of adventure? Come, ride with water and glide like a surfer. 
Experience the heart-stopping extreme activity with our very own wakeboarding. And take a rest in our very own complex. Go camping and caving at our 37 chamber cave with dripping stalactites and glowing stalagmites which will surely give you a view you won't forget. Travel back in time as you cruise the mighty Cagayan River. Experience tubing, kayaking, rafting, and cliff diving. And be awed by our crystal clear river with magnificent stone formations. Here in Carino, our culture is rich and diverse. But despite the differences, we gather as one, we live as one, we breathe as one. Come, experience Carino, where nature, culture, and adventure awaits. I am Lucky Faye Angeli Erese, your Miss Tourism Philippines, Carino Province. My name is Karen Nabasco. Today, I will be your tour guide in a journey that we will be taking. A virtual trip to the province of Quirino. Luzon's Cagayan Valley. Carino is a young province which celebrated its 50th anniversary last September. In just five decades, Carino earned various nicknames that proclaim its many attributes. The forest heartland of Cagayan Valley, the prime agro-industrial and eco-tourism destination in the north, water's forest capital of Cagayan Valley, and many more. But while each of these nicknames highlights one aspect of Quirino, not one of them captures the totality, the essence of the province, the sum of all the attractions. Mostly, natural and other human creations makes Quirino a must-visit tourist site. And so, the province is rebranding with a new nickname that appropriately heralded its rise as an emerging tourist destination as well as a new frontier for investments. So what's Carino's new nickname? What is its new brand name? Well, you'll find out later. That in fact is the whole point of this journey. You are now about to start a voyage that will allow you to discover the many attractions that Carino offers and fall in love with the new brand as a top tourist destination. So let's now begin our journey. Let's embark on our new voyage of discovery. Tara na sa Quirino. Hello! Welcome to your journey's first stop. I am Carmen Jimenez, the Provincial Administrator of the Province of Quirino. As Karen said, our province is located in Cagayan Valley on the south eastern corner of Region 2. Nestled in the shadows of the Sierra Madre mountain range, Quirino is a highland province that is surrounded by majestic mountains and covered by lush forests. 
But since it is also located in the Upper Cagayan River Basin, our province is likewise blessed with crystal clear rivers and roaring waterfalls. No wonder that our province has established a reputation as a must-experience tourist destination. A highland province crisscrossed by mighty rivers and pristine streams, Quirino is endowed with major scenic tourist attractions. One of the most popular is the Governor's Rapids in the town of Madela, forming part of a stream of the Kirkayan River. It is a favorite fishing, swimming, and kayaking spot for a growing number of visitors. During the rainy season, it becomes an ideal site for whitewater rafting. The towering limestone formations that line the river banks are dotted with waterfalls and short caves that the more adventurous visitors can explore. Our province's higher elevations, about 80% of Kirina's land area, are made up of mountain chains and rolling hills which feature spectacular rock formations, subterranean cave networks, and mountain trails that meander through verdant woodland. Kirino is one of the very few remaining provinces in the Philippines that still has virgin forests, and thus, it is home to a wide array of indigenous flora and fauna which makes it an unspoiled wonderland for nature lovers and adventure seekers. Mom Garbolita Jimenez for giving us a glimpse of Quirino's many natural wonders. You certainly gave our virtual tour of Quirino a thrilling start, but I'm sure more excitement awaits us, so let's continue with our journey. At the outset, I would like to acknowledge our provincial administrator, Ms. Carmelita Jimenez. Thank you very much, Mom, for the opening message. And of course, I would like to afford my courtesy and respect to uh, the Honorable Provincial Governor himself, uh, Governor Dakila Carlo Hua. And maraming salamat din po sa lahat ng mga kasama natin ngayon, ating mga kaibigan at mga sumusuportang membro ng ating media or ng press. Thank you very much for making time to be with us today. For two years now, the COVID-19 pandemic has been wreaking havoc on the entire world. And Particularly, naramdaman po natin ang impact nito ano, sa tourism sector. But even as we're still reeling from its effects, efforts from all sectors, nakakatuwa po na sama-sama, tuloy-tuloy at nag-a-align lahat no, to steer our bouncing back efforts also. And we've been relentless. As a result of this, we've seen that leisure tourism is slowly and surely is able to gain its footing. So, mukhang nakikita na natin po nagbubukas na rin yung mga destination. On that note, uh, allow me to commend the province of Quirino for your excellent teamwork and the amount of efforts you have put in to promote tourism. Uh, particularly your early shift and also having adapted to digital technologies and platforms uh, using uh, digital marketing tools. No? among others, and also you're having deployed the Visitor Information and Travel Assistance app or Visita, which helps manage tourist traffic and also tracks the log of visitors that go to your place. So, if there is one word no, that has actually become the focus of many conversations through the pandemic, it, it's the word resilience. And this instantly comes to mind also to describe your governor and the provincial leadership along with the vice governor and your council because you all refuse to allow the current situation. We see that digital innovations are playing a crucial role in the recovery of the tourism industry, that it not only improves the efficiency of business operations and also in the area of tourism promotions, but it also allows for a safer environment because we see that you know contactless transactions are more the the also now it's the trend. Uh, virtual meetings are now accepted, and even the way we monitor visitor registration and 
and the flow of tourists is also done online and can be done online. With these modern tools also come the fresh take they have to promote tourism, even changing the way people think of the province itself. For the longest time, Kirina has been known as the prime agro-industrial hub and eco-tourism destination in the north. But today is a momentous day because today is the, is the start of a new brand for, for Quirino. As you launch a new tagline, which will breathe new life into the local tourism scene and make it more enticing to travelers. The pandemic pushed us to recalibrate and retool ourselves to jumpstart the tourism industry's comeback and it is therefore imperative that we respond, adapt, and evolve. And I'm elated to witness that the province of Quirino is envisioning an easily accessible tool and effective rebranding campaign that would elevate the tourist experience. As the world, and kahit po tayo dito sa Pilipinas, ngayon nakikita na natin medyo nabubuhaya na ulit, slowly returning to normal or the new normal, Traveling can certainly serve as a means to overcome the trauma brought about with the pandemic. After almost two years of social distancing, hopefully the healing effect of traveling can go a long way towards promoting trust, camaraderie, harmony, and of course fun, <laughs> the things that the world body needs today. Your efforts serve as a symbol of confidence for the industry that through collective actions, we can bounce back stronger than before. We can build better, build back better, and make travel and tourism alive and thriving once again. Happy trails then to all of us. And on behalf of the Tourism Promotions Board Philippines, congratulations to this new endeavor to the province of Quirino and Governor Kua. Sampu po na inyong mga kasama dyan. Aamin pong pagpupugay, pasasalamat, at aming tuloy-tuloy na dasal na naway pagpalain pa po ng Panginoon ang lahat ng inyong mga adhikain at gawain para sa paglilingkod sa bayan at sa ating mga mamamayan. Let's get this started! Maraming maraming salamat po and mabuhay tayong lahat. Thank you, Attorney Velasco Alones, for your heartwarming and confidence-boosting words. Well, we've now arrived at the high point of our journey, the provincial capital, where we'll meet the Honorable Quirino Governor Dax Kua. Good day, Governor. Before I proceed, allow me to thank your very amiable tour guide for bringing you to Quirino. Karen has long been a firm advocate for Philippine tourism. So with her as your tour guide, you're in very capable hands. I would also like to express on behalf of the province of Quirino our heartfelt thank you to Attorney Velasco Alionis. Your very encouraging message has certainly given us a tremendous boost and has inspired us to work even harder in promoting our province as a tourist destination. Agyaman kami, madam. And of course, I would like to thank all of you for joining us today and for taking this virtual tour of Quirino. According to Karen, you are now in the provincial capital, which means you are now in Kaparugis, the capital of the province. Quirino is made up of six municipalities. Kaparugis, where you are now, Aglipay, Tifun, Madela, Nagtipunan, and Sagula. All of these municipalities have wonderful things to offer our visitors. Carmen, our very capable provincial administrator, earlier told you about the Governor's Rapids. By the way, Governor's Rapids wasn't named after me. It was named after a Japanese Governor General who disappeared in those waters during the war. According to folklore, he so loved that area that I wouldn't be surprised 
if he's still there, hiding in one of those limestone caves that line the riverbanks. But kidding aside, Quirino has another popular tourist attraction in the town of Bifun, the Bifun Eco Park. Bifun, together with four other Quirino towns, form part of the Quirino Protected Landscape. This is a protected area in northern Luzon that was established to preserve the watershed that shelters the headwaters of the mighty Cagayan River, covered by rainforests and traversed by three major river systems. The entire area is a huge nature preserve that is endowed with numerous natural features that make it a perfect ecotourism site. The town of Gifun boasts of several ecotourism attractions such as majestic waterfalls, including one seven-tier wonder. Two of its barangays, namely Baguio Village and Don Mariano Perez, comprise the Difun Eco Park, which offer visitors a wide array of ecotourism activities, from falls hopping along the Ganano River to eco walks under the thick canopies of moss-covered hardwood trees to camping on breezy rolling hills. All of these attractions and more are featured in Quirino Province, Portrait of a Province, a coffee table book that we launched to mark the 50th anniversary of Quirino last September. Copies of this book, full of magnificent photos and great stories by award-winning writers and photographers, will soon be available. And these photos with awesome videos can soon be viewed and enjoyed online when we launch the province's new website. This website, a key component of our digital tourism campaign, will allow you to see and walk through Quirino's many tourist sites. But while we are very thankful for and very proud of all these God-given wonders, they are not the only attractions Quirino offers to visitors. Proudly, we have our people, friendly and hospitable, Quirinians who keep alive the rich culture, traditions and arts, and crafts of the various highland communities who have made Quirino their home long before it became a province. Warm and affable people who, with their friendly nature, their unity, their love for peace and order, embody the welcoming and nurturing spirit of Quirino. As you can see, Quirino, as one ecstatic visitor once declared, is really the complete package, a cornucopia of natural and man-made wonders, a seemingly bottomless well of attractions. And this is what has prompted us to rebrand our province, to give it a new nickname that captures its totality, a new brand that best describes the whole package that is Quirino. So, allow me to send you to your next stop, to the high point of your virtual journey, and let me be the first to welcome you to Quirino Profits, your basket of happiness. Thank you very much, Governor, for that informative talk and the warm welcome. You've certainly whet our appetite for Quirino's attractions and we're now more eager to see what else are in store for us from your, and now, our basket of happiness. But before we proceed with our journey, let's make a brief stop to listen to a very special guest. Quirino Governor Dakila Carlo Dax Kua, Quirino Lone District Representative Congressman Juni E. Kua, TPB COO Maria Antoinette Velasco Aliones, ladies and gentlemen, Na imbag nga bigat, kada kayo amin ako. I warmly congratulate the province of Quirino, especially to my compare, Governor Dax Kua, for coming up with a wonderful new brand for the province. Your basket of happiness is truly an amazing handle. Catchy and at the same time, so inviting. Innovative ideas and initiatives such as these are exactly what we need at this time to revive our tourism industry and help the Philippines regain its stature as a prime tourist destination. Tourism has taken a beating 
from the COVID-19 pandemic and the whole industry has struggled to stay afloat. While temporary interventions were made by the government, our only sustainable solution to this crisis is the resumption of travel and tourism, starting with the domestic market. We pivoted to domestic tourism to restart the industry and the local economy. As such, we recalibrated tourism products based on new travel preferences. Our regional offices have developed tourism circuits that showcase the best of our provinces while maximizing the tourist experience. In fact, Quirino's new brand has already been included in the Department of Tourism Region 2's lineup for tourism circuit promotions. Quirino is one province packed with destinations for adventure seekers and nature-loving tourists. It is also home to friendly and hospitable people who celebrate and preserve its rich cultures and traditions including those of various highland tribes. You have so much to offer tourists, and I know that many are excited to visit Kirina soon. About 92% of the province A1 tourism frontliners in quarantine hotels, and 81% of workers in regular hotels and other tourism enterprises are now vaccinated against COVID-19. I hope we can reach 100% by the time that the province is ready to accept tourists because having a fully vaccinated tourism workforce is important in restoring traveler confidence and protecting our tourism workforce. I am glad that the province has tapped digital innovations to start the tourism experience while we await its actual reopening. I look forward to the launching of the website that will allow visitors to see the province's many tourist attractions and even enable them to walk through some of them. Numerous tourist attractions in the country have already been open to visitors. I'm sure Quirino will soon follow and when that happens, rest assured that the Department of Tourism and the Tourism Promotions Board will be there to support you to drive tourist traffic to your province so that they can enjoy the awesome experiences that await them in your basket of happiness. Thank you very much. Stay safe and Mabuhay po Thank you, Secretary Romulo Puyat, for those encouraging words. You've definitely given our tourism campaign an inspiring boost. With you at the helm of the Tourism Department, Quirino has a true friend and a great champion. Maraming salamat po. Let's now proceed to our next stop, Quirino's Provincial Economic Enterprise Office, to meet its dynamic and highly creative head. Thank you, Karen. Quirino has become a key contributor to Cagayan Valley's economic growth. It is an important producer of palay and corn and a major supplier of high-value commercial crops such as banana, coffee, cacao, and vegetables. For these reasons, Quirino has been touted as a prime agro-industrial center in the north. Marketing the province's commercial crops, such as its coffee, which is of the same high quality as the more popular highland varieties, could be one promising venture. Coming up with goodies that prolong the shelf life of its products, such as turning bananas into banana chips, could be another. This will also have the added benefit of providing Quirino's farmers with an income source even during the off-season months. Handicraft making is another robust cottage industry in Quirino. Who has not heard of the province's fossilized flowers, painstakingly handmade by craftsmen in the town of Sagudai? These flowers, fashioned from the bangbang leaves, are now being exported to Japan, Thailand, Hong Kong, and Australia. But for these exquisite decorative items, there are surely more worlds and more export markets to conquer. Aside from fossilized flowers, Quirino also offers baskets, containers, and hats woven from bamboo from Madela. Bags made from pandan leaves from the foon and fashion accessories that sparkle with glass beads and mother of pearl trimmings from Nagtipunan. With its virgin forest, 
pristine rivers, and fantastic mountain views. The province should be a very attractive destination. Health and wellness will thus be another offering from Quirino's Basket of Happiness. Well, we're now nearing the end of our tour, and what better way to end it than with music? Do you remember when I introduced Mr. Villaluel to you and described him as very creative? Now, you'll see and hear what I mean because the song you're about to listen to is Mr. Villaruel's very own composition. It is a song that captures the rhythm and beat of Quirino's way of life, as well as the spirit of the province's new brand. Here it is, for the first time to hit the airwaves, Basket of Happiness official song. Wow, wasn't that simply awesome? What a beat! 
great ethnic tones, and amazing visuals. It really demonstrates how creative the people of Quirino are and how truly wonderful this province is. And just to drive home that point, here's our parting gift to you, another treat from Quirino's Basket of Happiness. It's Basket of Happiness AVP. Watch this and enjoy. I was born in the province of Quirino. under a mantle of blue skies and rolling clouds. Here, I was raised under the watchful protection of the Sierra Madre, where rigid walls of rock and frolicking streams of water were my constant playmates. Here, I am soothed by the lullabies of the forest canopy, and my voice blends with the music of the wilderness, from the gentle rustling of leaves to a gleeful symphony of wildlife sounds. In Quirino, nature sings in harmony with its stewards. A varied mix of people and influences melding into one unified culture, rich and distinct. This is the province that nurtured my soul within its hollow halls. I grew in wisdom and stature. I walk on familiar roads and less trodden streets, which bear glimpses of a time now gone, but not forgotten. An era which reveled in the joys of simple abundance. And though many and winding, all roads lead to a path of progress and development. In the arena of everyday life, I sharpened my skills and perfected my craft. And each creation is a masterpiece of expression. With my hands, I bless the land. And in turn, the land rewards me with its gifts. A bounty of fresh ingredients, seasoned to taste with the province's diverse ethnic influences and transformed into an epicurean feast that is, at once, satisfying and nourishing. In Quirino, a healthy harvest of fruits become a toast to a bright future. and ubiquitous coffee beans grew to perfection. Become cherished memories of laid-back moments shared together. And still, the bounty overflows so much that there is enough to bring home and share. In Quirino, every sunrise brings with it an opportunity to commune with nature and bathe in its life-giving energy. With the outdoors a scenic backdrop, a day in Quirino and fall to wealth of wonders waiting to be mined. Every twist and turn of the road, rise and fall of undulating streams. Every breathtaking drop, and every descent into a cavernous pit is an adventure waiting to unfold.
still in Quirino. Every exciting thrill-filled day gives way to blissful moments of relaxation. Quirino, my province, my basket of happiness, my heart is full. Well, we finally arrived at the end of our virtual tour. We sincerely hope you enjoyed our virtual trip, our voyage of discovery, and are already planning your soon travel to Quirino. But just before we all leave online, please let your friends and family know about Quirino through your social media accounts. Change your profile photos with the official basket of happiness frame, which will be made available to you right after this program. This is your virtual tour guide, Karen Ibasco. Thank you for joining us today. See you in Carino soon and may your basket of happiness overflow.